Good morning and welcome to beautiful Beijing. It's 8.30 in the morning. I'm here in the Forbidden City. Just want to share some beautiful background with you. I like to bike around in the city here before I go and exercise. Just want to share some tips of how I'm thinking about my training and eating. Also show some background clips here walking around. Just get up a bit later than normally here because I want to prioritize sleep because that's my tip number one. Yesterday I was out quite late uh, actually meeting up my old boss that I worked for in Shanghai and Hong Kong. Had some fantastic Spanish food. Always prioritize proteins. We had some nice steak and some pork and of course some paella, rice, some good carbs so you actually sleep better. So to make sure you sleep good have many you know, hours of uninterrupted sleep so you wake up rested and then prioritize some carbs. I'm gonna continue biking actually a little bit more so see you very soon. It's very important of course to be careful when you're out biking but I think it's a great way to change up so you don't always go running or walking. Change the different type of exercise you're doing to let the different body parts rest but using the legs like you're biking is a great way to use one of the biggest muscle groups in the body. Later I'm gonna meet up some friends here I'm on the way now to exercise outside in the park. Unfortunately, air is actually not that oh. great today, as you can see. You don't see the, the sky very clearly, but that's how it is, you can't just change it. Uh, but nice to be outside instead of just walking on the treadmill, which I normally otherwise do. So that's the tip. Stay active and get some steps, or biking, or walking, or whatever running you prefer into your daily routine. Always amazing to start the morning with some great exercise and great friends out in the sunshine. Always great fun to sit down with the crew and have some nice brunch and see what everyone is enjoying stuff. But I'm gonna go cook. But I was also reminded I'm going to Inner Mongolia next weekend. It's gonna be amazing. But you can't really find coffee. So of course gonna pick up some fantastic coffee powder. Not the taste yes, but better than no coffee. Very great for your metabolism. So that's a small tip too boost your metabolism as well. Also picking up some apple cider vinegar, good for your digestion. Another bonus here for the grocery store, you see a lot of this sunflower oil, corn oil, peanut oil, not as good, definitely prefer olive oil or coconut oil. Yes, I mentioned always try to get in this Saturday morning exercise group crew outside, a lot of nice fun exercises, you learn something new every time. Normally I go to the gym and do strength training, but I think it's fun to mix it up. And of course, exercise is important, but I think nutrition is perhaps even more important to make sure you have very good mental clarity and progress, and of course, actually have the proper nutrition to build muscle and get stronger. I mean, if that's what you want, which is what I try to focus on, that's why I go to the gym. So I'm gonna go now cook a bit, pass by the grocery store, gonna have some sweet potato, minced beef, and actually even bought some avocados the last time. Uh, has a little bit more fat, but a lot of great nutrition to stay full. Typically try to cook most of my meals, either with like chicken or shrimp. Um, sometimes, very seldom, I do processed food like pasta, but I think I had it last week. But basically staying away from mostly the ultra processed garbage food. And basically whole foods are things that's only one ingredient, basically like potato, quinoa, rice, chicken, fish, shrimp. So that's how I try to balance out the dinners when I cook. Then for lunch, as I mentioned before, typically eat out like a salad with chicken or beef, something like that. But that's how I think about my daily nutrition, mixing and having fun, like dinner last night, exercising and getting in some great nutrients for you and your body and your mental clarity. So just wanted to share the get a little bit with you guys here and also some background from beautiful Beijing, walking around the streets, seeing the old areas, the Hutongs, Forbidden City. So if you wanna see more of this kind of random stuff, let me know, leave me a like. And in that case, if you wanna see more, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.